Welcome back to Good Day Cinema. It's great to have Dee Frommy and Liz Moser with us from CASA. Dee's the new program director, while Liz is the new training coordinator. And thank you guys for being here with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for, you for having, having us. us. Excellent. So let's talk about CASA. Let's drive right into it. Uh, a big event coming up right now, the Toy Drive. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, sure. We um, had our Toy Drive and our Gumbo Luncheon last week at the Children's Advocacy Center. Mm -hmm. And it was a, a big success. Um, we want to say thank you to St. James Episcopal Daycare. Sure. Uh, they brought in day school, excuse me. They brought so many toys um, to us and we had some individuals. It's a time for uh, Department of Family Services to come and, and collect uh, accept toys for their foster children and uh, we can take our toys to um, uh, the Casa children as well. Um, but now it moves over to LSUA. LSUA contacted us and they would like to do a toy drive this Wednesday night. <laughs> if you bring a new unwrapped toy, um, to they're hosting the um, LSU Shreveport. Um, and I think you'll see a really great game. And if you bring an unwrapped toy, you will get in the game for $5. Well, that's Ooh. just wonderful. LSUA's um, extended that off. Oh, Isn't it that is. That's it wonderful. is. Yes, it, it sure is. is. Um, and also, too, we want to ask that you don't forget our teens. It's so fun to buy toys for the little toddlers and things but there are so many teenagers in foster care as well, and we can accept gift cards from okay. uh, movie gift cards, anything like that. If you can remember of sports apparel, perhaps. Sure. Sometimes sure. our teens, they don't remember them as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I was talking to Coach Cordero, and he said this game coming up is going to be a good one as it's my well. understanding they're undefeated. Yeah, this I, is, I is going to be a good matchup. Yes, yeah. yes. It's full. So we just asked everybody if they could remember and, and uh, come in with a, with a new unwrapped toy or a gift for a teen and um, watch a great game for $5. Now, what are the age ranges? The age ranges of the children? Um, from birth to age 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's wide open it's for wide all children, open. male, yes. female, just wide open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, for many of us, uh, most of us, I think the holidays are a very, very happy time. But um, last year, 12 children uh, were removed from their homes during the holidays. And uh, CASA received 12 cases. Perhaps even more children were removed. And so it, it can be a tough time. We hear that for a lot of different people for sure. different reasons. And certainly for our kids in foster care. Uh, the Glenmore Bobbins a Quilting Club brought over mm -hmm. 30 beautiful quilts. Oh, they um, to, uh, they, we laid them out over the whole yes. conference table. They were just gorgeous. And to give those children that quilt sometimes when they move from place to place they'll do so with a garbage bag and a few contents so this will be something they can take and you could just see the love in every stitch that that's is just excellent. amazing now we just had Linda Hudson on from the food bank and mm -hmm. she talked about how you can volunteer and help in December but I know for you guys January is a very important month. January we're yes. taking a break in December yes. um, for training and we have January training coming up uh, for Avoyles Grant and Rapids we'll start that training on the 23rd uh, and for those who'd like to learn more about uh, the commitment of training we meet um, uh, about 15 hours we meet four times and we spread that out they uh, conclude training March March 7th. So we really try to spread that out for people because we know everyone is very, very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, but if they'd like to uh, learn more, please call the office or visit the uh, rapidecac.org website. Um, call us and chat with us uh, about the training. It's a wonderful opportunity to serve. And it's a wonderful gift you can give to someone yes. that can make the lives, a change the life of a child forever. And Absolutely. like most gifts, you, you normally find that you're the you're the bigger receiver sometimes than, than the children mm -hmm. that you meet. Now, a lot of people are very familiar with CASA and the wonderful work that you guys do, but mm -hmm. if someone's interested in training, what, what's expected of them after they finish the program? After they finish the program, mm -hmm. uh, they would be sworn in uh, by um, the local judge here, it's Judge Davidson in juvenile court, and then they would see their child once a month. And their sole purpose is to advocate on behalf of that child. If they feel that there are services that would benefit that child, uh, if the goal is reunification with the parent, um, they might report back to the judge if all aspects of that case plan are being addressed or where they're not being addressed. But mainly it's to advocate and be that constant mentor friend to to that child you see them once a month and and visit their school i love to visit the school and <laughs> anything yes. you can think to add it's it's the commit the main commitment is the training the training between online and in the class or in the classroom is um about 30 hours 25 to 30 hours but after that you have court twice a year uh, you attend family teen conferences um, right before court, 
uh, which are held at the DCFS office, and then see your child once a month is the main thing, at least once a month. You want a, a relationship with that child. Well, thank you guys so much for being here with thank us. I want to remind you about that training, which is held in January for Grant of Oils and Rapids Parish, and also the toy drive over at the fort at LSUA Wednesday, starting at 5 o'clock. More Good Day Sandlot coming up just after this.